Okay, I'm sorry people, I'm back. I'm hoping that you will rejoin me again. <laughs> Modern technology, you have to love it, haven't you? Um, so hopefully you will find me again and jump back on again. I'm just gonna flip the screen and pop my phone in. And we'll start back off again. So I'll wait until a few people get back on again. I'm back again. Hello. Hello, everyone. Thank you for rejoining. I'm so sorry. I don't know why. I think someone rang me on my phone and that just cuts out the video. So hopefully you can find me all again. And now I'm going to have to share the video once again. You've got to love modern technology, haven't you? Um, there. So fingers crossed, no one rings me again. <laughs> we can hope. Okay. So... As I was saying, I created um, a video using the positive thoughts. I'm just gonna grab a scrap piece of paper ready to um, do my sponging. And um, this is the designer series paper from the new celebration second release items. So this is the second release brochure. Now, if you, um, if you are wanting this second release brochure, if you're on my customer list, you will automatically get one sent out through the post. If you would like a brochure, if you live in Australia and you would like a brochure sent out to you, please um, don't hesitate to message me. I would be happy to um, send you out one of these little catalogs in the post. So the celebration paper is stunning. And one of the things that they've done in the catalog is actually a little bit of sponge brayering. So I decided that I would do it, but in some different colors. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to, oh, I think I need to try and fold that in half maybe. It's too much white in that video and it flickers my light. So maybe that might be okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So I'm going to use my sponge brayers. Now, um, one of the things with sponge brayers is um, to make sure you ink up your sponge brayer properly. So I'm going to start with the lightest color and then I'm going to work down to the darkest color. So I've chosen um, our Rococo Rose, Rich Razzleberry and Blackberry Bliss for this card. Thank you all for jumping back on. I do apologize for oh, technology. We either love it or we hate it. <laughs> okay, so the idea of when you're going to sponge up your sponge, ink up your sponge brayers, these can be washed, these sponge rollers. And the idea is you roll continuously on your ink pad. Okay, don't go backwards and forwards. You roll continuously in one motion to get really nice, good coverage of ink. Be careful not to press down too hard. Some people have pressed down too hard and they've actually dug into their ink pad with these plastic sides of their sponge brayers. And there's no need to press that hard. Honestly, just continuous rolling of that ink will get the ink on. So I'm actually going to... Um, Go across here and we're going to work our way down. Okay. And just keep inking up your sponge brayer and coming back through again. So this is Rococo Rose. And as you can see, the um, silver will resist the colour. And we'll still show through, which is fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to go down about a third, nearly half with the light color. Okay. 
And then I'm going to use a different brayer and I'm going to go into the Rich Razzlebury. So I'm going to ink up my Rich Razzlebury. And I'm going to come into the middle part with my Rich Razzlebury and go down. So you can see the gorgeous tones happening here. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my Blackberry Bliss for the last part. And with my Blackberry Bliss, I'm actually going to go from the bottom and work my way back up towards the Rich Razzlebury. Okay. So we've got some gorgeous tones happening there. Now that I've got some great colour on there, I'm actually going to close up those two dark ink pads and I'm going to grab my Rococo Rose again and I'm going to come in with my Rococo Rose and I'm going to go right over the top because it's my lighter colour just to blend where those colours are joining. Okay, so I want to put some more up in here. But it, as you can see, it takes those lines away when you go through with your lighter colour again. Just blends them in. Don't be scared to put a lot of ink on. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So there you go. You have changed that paper into something absolutely stunning. Okay? So sponge brayers are a fantastic thing to have in your craft room. I use mine so often. I absolutely love them. You can just rinse them out under um, the tap because all of our ink um, is water-based ink, so you can rinse them out under the tap. I'll just pop mine away. I tend to have some brayers for certain colours, um, so I don't have to worry about rinsing them out. Okay, so I've got that gorgeous piece there. It is stunning, isn't it, Jeanette? Exactly. Um, so I'm just trying to see whether... <laughs> 56 people back, that's not bad. I was up around the 80 mark there before, so hopefully people don't get sick of things happening. So I've got some of our basic grey. Now my base is cut at five and three quarter inches by eight inches once again. I'm gonna fold that in half and crease it with my bone folder. Crease that nicely. Okay, so I've got some beautiful Blackberry Bliss that I thought I could pop in underneath my layer, so that will make that um, that layer pop. <laughs> Thanks for joining again, Janice. <laughs> um, so I've also got now in this gorgeous positive thoughts we have the coordination products at the moment so the coordination products at the moment are the nature's thoughts dyes so in the nature's thoughts dyes there is this gorgeous rectangle framelit so i thought to myself i really want to feature that framelit as a frame on the front of my card so i thought what better than to do a lovely frame in silver so I needed to find a rectangle that would fit inside to create a gorgeous frame. So I've just got our stitched rectangle framelits, okay? I've used um, that size there, so it's very hard. I don't have mine numbered. I just, all I do is I use them. I, I look at what they're going to coordinate with and whether they're going to fit or not. So um so I thought I would do a framework like that. So I'm actually going to bring in the big shot. So remember our coordination products are available right now and they, they are fantastic. So these framelits that match this positive thought stamp set are stunning. So um, I wanted to feature some of our gorgeous um, coordination products as well. So I'm just going to bring in the big shot. Okay. And I just want to get a better big shot platform than that one. Okay, so we'll use that one. So the main thing with foil is try to use some fairly new plates. Um, 
can I squeeze back out again? There. Give you a bit more so you can see a bit more. So try to use some fairly new plates because you will find that the cut marks in your plates will actually leave marks on your foil and you don't want that to happen. So I'm going to pop that one down on there. And then I'm going to line up my stitched rectangle inside nice and evenly. I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm not actually going to worry too much. Um, I'm sure just with eyeballing it, we can get a, a pretty good amount all the way around the edge. Pop my plate on and then run that through. Now you'll see it's on a little bit of an angle so that it goes through the big shot a little bit better. Um, sometimes if you have like a straight edge and it's going over the pressure rollers in your big shot, your big shot is not real happy about it. So we actually want to be able to, um, to not let that happen. Now look at that gorgeous frame that we have just created. Can you see that? Can you see that gorgeous detailed little edging bit on it? I was like, I really want to do a frame using that. So I'll pop all that aside and I'll bring in my card front. Look at that. Is that not stunning? Love, love, love it. Okay, now this is as far as my thought process went. I didn't really have anything else planned, but I did have this gorgeous little... Um, um, stitch shape as well. So I thought what I might do is I'll layer these two up So I'll use my Tombow to pop that designer series paper on it is beautiful. Isn't it Cindy? I agree It's absolutely stunning. Hey Jenny. How are you going? Thanks for joining I lost that poor lady that found me from Western Australia. I lost her after that video went I don't think she's joined again Okay, so we've got the gorgeous um, little tiny bit of that shining through. And I think I'm going to glue that one directly down and then maybe pop this one up. Looks like a plan, so I might do that. So I'm just going to, um, with some Tombow, I'm going to glue that onto that um, beautiful sponged piece of designer series paper. Now remember with Tombow, a little bit is enough. Please don't use too much Tombow on your projects. Okay, and it gives us the wiggle room so we're able to pop that where we want it and place it down. And just hold it down because sometimes with foil it takes a little while for foil to adhere to the front of your card. Move that over a little bit. There we go. Oh, see? So you've got to hold it down. I think I might actually just pop a big block on that and let it sit there for a while until we um, stamp on our thing. I'll pop that over to the side with a block on it. There we go. Okay. So now I want to stamp something on this. I'm thinking I have a stamp set. Yes. I'm thinking I want to do this seriously the best. Now this goes with a kit that's in our mini catalog. So I think I want to do one of these sentiments now. What does, what's that one? Congrats, is congrats going to go right across there? Yes it is, or thanks. I'm thinking I'm going to use the word congrats. What do you think, congrats? I think that might be quite good. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do it in our Blackberry Bliss. You're excited, Joyce, for the firefighter videos? Yes, I think they're going to be, I think it's going to be an epic event, I can tell you. I'm super, super excited about it as well. Okay, let's get that word congrats on there. Okay. So we've got that. I'm just going to bring in my scrap piece of paper because I want to ink that up and make sure it's going to ink up because I haven't actually used this word, I don't think, this stamp. I just want to make sure it's going to ink up. 
really nicely. Sometimes you just need to smooch that ink to make sure it's going to stamp really nice. And it will. Okay. And I'm going to ink that up and I'm going to stamp that on my label there. Just like that. Give it time for it to sink in and soak in. And look at that. Gorgeous. Okay. Now, I think I want to use something more out of this. So, I like this, which I think I want to in a light color. So, maybe in my Rococo Rose, I might be able to. Let me see. Is that going to be big enough? Yes. Okay, so my Rococo Rose ink, and I think I'm going to stamp off. Just want to pop a little bit of more interest on this tag. So I'm going to ink that up in Rococo Rose. Stamp off. Yes, that's exactly what I want to do. Okay, so I want to be able to stamp off and then stamp on. So stamp off and stamp on. Look at that. Yes. Stamp off and stamp on. And stamp off and stamp on. Look at that. Now that is really super, super cute. Okay. And I think I also want to use some more out of these framelits. I'm getting a little bit excited with this card. Okay. So I think I want to use... There is that one. I want to use that little one. I like that. It's cute. And maybe that one in vellum, maybe. Sorry, my thought process is going through quite a few things here. So I'm thinking I could do that. Could maybe turn it into a card that's going to go that way. I want to do maybe a couple of these. Um, I'll go in a bit closer so you can see what I'm up to. I'm thinking I could do maybe a vellum. Mm, no, I'm going to get something else. Hang on, bear with me. I'm playing around here. Okay. My peaceful moments, I think. Yes. I want to do this. Is it that or do I want to do that? Might do that and that. Okay. So I'm now using <laughs> the framelits from my peaceful moments. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm just, I'm jumping to and fro here, but um, having a lovely time. So this is out of the nature, the positive thoughts and the nature's thoughts. And this is out of our peaceful moments. So I'm just going to cut a few things. piece of silver here and I want a piece of vellum as well to have some vellum here okay so I'm just going to work out I think I'm going to do the larger pieces in vellum and the small ones in the silver and actually I've got that silver left so I might use it instead of the bigger bit of silver Okay, so we'll bring in the big shot again. I'll zoom out again so you can see what I'm up to. Okay, so I'm going to pop that little cute little thing in there. And the vellum, I'm going to pop that with some of these um, beautiful leafy images from, okay go up there with that let's go there with that okay that and that we'll do that that looks pretty good and that okay where did my plate go 
I just had it. Ah. Anyway, I'll just use my bad plate. I just had my plate for my um, big shot and I just took it off to go and do something. Do you do that? Do you? Oh, there it is on the floor. I'm walking over it. Okay, that's better. You just made a card for a friend who found out the other day, oh, they may never walk again. That's not good. Okay, so we have our vellum leave there and another one there. So I'll just pop those out with my take your pick tool. Look at that. Cute. And another one. It is fun to play, isn't it? I'm just reading um, Cindy's comment there. <laughs> Can I share my thoughts and tips on how to choose what to buy? There's so many wonderful sets and dies. Incredibly hard to decide. Okay, so um, that is a great question, Janice. So my suggestion to you is when you go through the catalogue, if there is something that you look at in that catalogue that you think, wow, I really like that, get on YouTube, get on um, Google Images and Pinterest and check out exactly um, type in the name of that stamp set and just check out exactly what other people are doing with it. Now, if everything that people create with it, that you say, wow, I love that, wow, I have to have that, wow, I need that, then that's the, the item that you need to purchase. You need to purchase things from the heart. You need to purchase things that, that really excite you because if you purchase things that you think, maybe I might like that, that's exactly how you're going to feel about it. So that's actually how I have my thought process as well when I go to buy things. You may think I just buy everything in the catalogue, but I don't. There's certain products in the catalogue that I look at and I think, mm, I don't think I really like that. And you know what? If I keep looking at it thinking I don't think I really like that, I won't buy it because I know for a fact that I creatively will not be able to create a really nice project with that because it doesn't really grab me. So I hope that answers your question. Yes, there is some um, beautiful things in our catalogue and you could spend a lot of money. Um, don't get me wrong because I, I know I spend a lot of money on things, but I love our products and the beauty of our products is everything coordinates with everything. So um, you really can't go wrong, but just make sure you, you purchase things that you are definitely going to use. Um, so does that answer your question? You put a piece of vellum over your foils when you cut into... Um, Yes, okay, I always use, Kathy saying that she puts a bit of vellum, I always use um, a newer Big Shot. I keep a, a plate especially for just cutting foils so that um, it's not worn and I don't get any, um, any marks on my card. Okay, so let's see what we have here now. So we have this, we have this. I did bring out this ribbon. I don't know whether I wanna use this ribbon, I don't know whether I do want to use a ribbon. I think I do want to use a ribbon. I think I want to put the ribbon through here and then pop that on. I think that looks quite nice. And then I could probably pop a bow over on this side. So you know me, I love ribbon. So I probably still should use a ribbon. Oh, Paulie, you just ordered some of the new products? Yep. There was another video, so I did start. I did make a card in another video, so I do apologise because someone called me or something happened and my stream cut out. So um, make sure you check both. <laughs> um, 
Yes, uh, like it's really personal choice with your buying, but as I said, make sure, and this is what I tell my, my customers and my team members, make sure that um, it's something that really excites you. Um, you're not a fan of the ribbon, it's okay. We'll see at the end whether you're a fan of the ribbon, Jenny. <laughs> Cindy's saying she loves the ribbon. It's okay. You know me, I like to put ribbon on everything. Okay. So I'll pop that across there. I'm going to pop this one up on to dimensionals. So we get a bit of dimension happening in the card. Oh, it's thunder and thundering here. So we're definitely getting a storm. Hello. Um, how do I say your name? Minder, Minder, Nissen from Hawaii. I'm going to be in Hawaii in um, July. So welcome. Thank you for joining and watching. Um, Sandy's saying that she says the same to her customers. Yes, just purchase things that you know that, that you absolutely love them. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that up in the middle there, like that. And then I've got these gorgeous little pieces. So I think I want to pop one of those down there. And maybe one of those, can I get it in there because of my dimensionals in there? I'm going to cut that down a little bit because I need to get it in there. Okay, so I'm going to glue dot that and pop it in under there. Oh, don't stick, don't stick. There. Okay, that's it. That looks cute. Oh, and that one's decided to stick in there, so that's okay. And then I'm going to, I'm going to cut the tails off these little ones because I want to stick them in further. And stick them onto my glue dot. And down in under there. Better not lose my frame, but I'm going to put that back in the packet so I don't lose it. Okay, cut the tail off this one. And we'll pop him in up there. Minder, okay, uh, Minda, it l rhymes with Linda, okay, Minda. Well, welcome, and I will be in your neck of the woods in July on the Maui incentive trip. So um, I'm spending a couple of days actually in Honolulu. Um, haven't booked my accommodation yet, don't know where to stay in Honolulu yet. I want to stay at Waikiki Beach, but I'm not quite sure where to stay so any suggestions would be muchly appreciated okay so that there and i'm going to do that one i can't wait to be in hawaii i was watching some youtube videos only yesterday and it's getting me all excited whoops and see they are quite delicate these little pieces so I've just broken one little piece off but I'll be able to fit it in under there no problem at all look at that there. okay so that's cute look at that is that not stunning and I think we're gonna pop that onto there okay up on dimensionals So I'm actually going to do a live giveaway this week and I'm also going to do a giveaway for people that comment and respond after and they're watching the replay. So if you think I missed out on winning live, then you can always catch the replay and I will actually do a drawing for 
um, people that actually watch the replay and comment and share my video. So please feel free to share the video. Type in the comments that you've shared the video and let me know what country you live in. So I need to know whether you live in Australia or I need to know whether you live um, overseas somewhere else because I'm only allowed to give product away to people that live in Australia, but I can send cards. So I'm quite happy to send a card to you if I pick you as one of the lucky winners and you live um, overseas from me. So there we have that. And I wanna do a bow, cause you know me, I love the bows. Stunning card, Glenda, you think so? Thank you. Okay, so once again, Thank you, Sharon, for sharing. Whereabouts are you from, Sharon? What state do you live in in Australia? My card has turned out lovely, Beryl. Thank you. Okay, so that. Now, I know Jenny said she wasn't a fan of the ribbon. I want to know, once I put this on... Are you still not a fan of the ribbon or are you a fan of the ribbon now that I've popped my bow on there? So once again, I'm gonna use, um, are you from Melbourne, Sharon? Well, welcome. How's the weather down there in Melbourne? Are you getting all this pouring rain? I think everyone's getting it everywhere. Okay, so my double-sided tape once again onto my card base and straddling my ribbon so that my bow will sit nicely over both. Thank you, Liz, from Kalgoorlie. How are you? Thank you for watching. Okay. Um, and I think I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to pop some diamantes on there as well. Um, okay, so where are they? There. I think we need a bit of bling. And then I'm going to bring a little bit of the front of the card to the inside of the card as well. Yeah, so Janice, you're saying... Um, you like Linda's idea of three items are usable. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Linda's saying she loves my video today. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to do one up there, one down there, one down there. And I think maybe one up there and maybe one over there. Okay, so we need something for the inside here so I think what I'm going to do is seeing we did the Rococo Rose I'm going to bring, bring in my scrap piece of paper again wherever I put it um, wow I'm losing everything here it's okay I'll use this one here okay so I'm going to use my Rococo Rose Yes, Cheryl. Cheryl's saying, don't forget to hit like. Yes, please. Hit like, everyone. Okay, so I'm going to pop that in that corner. And I think I might pop another one stamped off in that corner there. So that's going to look nice for the insert. And then I need to stamp up an envelope to match because we need to have an envelope that matches. Okay. So I'm just going to bring in this as my scrap. I need to stamp off first. And then in the corner of my envelope. And stamp off there. And in the corner there. Okay. So we'll pop that on the inside of the card. 
So Henny, Henny is saying that she likes um, the card, the ribbon, and all the other embellishments. Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that to the inside of the card. And so there we have a really cute, gorgeous card with a matching envelope. So please hit the like button if you like what I've done there. Please hit the like button. It helps my video get seen more. And everyone, because you want to see if you're going to be the lucky winner. Um, I've got one more card. Does everyone want one more card? One more card done? Okay, I'll do one more. Now, this is using another piece of that gorgeous designer series paper. I'm going to use a bit of embossing. Okay, so that, that. I'm going to use the two punches. <laughs> Cheryl's saying yes to another card. <laughs> I still have to work out what I'm going to do in the fundraiser yet. I haven't even worked out what I'm going to do there. But you know me. I mean, like, I tend to wing it. I, um, I don't really have a decision made. But anyway. Okay, so I've got some thick whisper white here. <laughs> My desk is getting smaller and smaller here. I'm getting less room to do anything. So I've got copper embossing and I've got white embossing. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm going to use. Um, I did, oh yeah, I've got some scrap pieces of white there. So my white card base is cut at um, five and three quarter inches by eight inches and it's scored at four. So I will use my bone folder and score that nicely. Okay, whereabouts are you from, Leon 211777? Thank you for your comments. Okay, that's for the inside. Okay, so I've got a bit of um, champagne foil here. I've also got this gorgeous strip of the designer series paper. So I thought I wanted to do that. Now, I also have the cute little flowers. So I'm going to do some pretty strange things with these flowers. And I've got the gorgeous little um, flower punch. Now this is a celebration item. It's a level two item. So um, you should be in bed, Janet. <laughs> oh, you did night shift last night. Yeah. Um, you'll hang out for another card. Thank you. <laughs> Cheryl, whatever you do, you're going to love it. Oh, Fran, you finally found me again. Thank you, Fran. I was a little bit worried when I had to jump off. You'd only just found me. So, Fran, please hit the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed already to my channel, please hit the subscribe button so that you um, get notified every time I do a video so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. Um, are you new, Fran, to card making? Okay, so I'm just going to punch out some of these cute little flowers. I don't know how many I'm going to use. I'm just using scrap pieces of my copper... Um, foil cardstock. So I'm just gonna punch out as many as I can and I don't, can I get one there? Yes I can, just. Okay, so I've got quite a lot of little flowers. Now I've got the champagne foil because apparently this is champagne or rose gold. I was trying to work out what foil would go with it. I thought the champagne was nice just for something a little bit different, a bit in between the rose gold and in between the silver. Um, so, um, I thought, um, I would use that and I want to use the gorgeous flourish, um, embossing folder that's in the, um, Parisian Blossoms suite in our brand new catalogue. So I'm actually going to bring in the big shot and I'm going to emboss this piece of, um, um, champagne foil. So with that... I'm going to use my big shot. I'll zoom out a bit. My big shot. My just my base plate and the blue embossing plate. So I'm just going to pop that in. So with our embossing folders, you can see 
We've got the black emblem here, the Stampin' Up! emblem. If you have that up, you're going to have the right way up. Um, if that's facing down, you're going to emboss the opposite way. So it's always um, important to have that up. They have a black line here at the bottom if you wanted to line up your cardstock. My cardstock's a little bit bigger than that, so I've lined it up at the bottom, ready to go. Now, you always put your fold side in first into your Big Shot machine so that when you go to emboss, it's not going to break um, across that fold. If you put it in with the open end first, um, you can, um, if it's not lined up properly, you can actually crack along the um, fold part of your embossing folder. So you don't want that to happen. Okay, look at that. Is that not simply stunning? Uh, Gail, you're from Western Carolina and it's snowing after flooding rain yesterday. Wow. You've had some weather over there. I know over in the US a lot of people are getting lots and lots of snow in Canada. Canada got a big amount of snow. Okay. I actually think I want to do something a little bit different as well. With my flowers, I think I want to emboss them as well. Just for something different. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to place all of these cute little flowers in here, just randomly around the place. I think I'm going to do some embossed and some not embossed. Once again, as I said, I'm winging this again. As usual, I have no idea what I've got planned. Okay, so I'm going to emboss all of those. So we're just going to pop that in and we're going to emboss these flowers. Don't be limited in what you do with um, embossing. Like you can emboss just about anything. It is a good day, Gail, for card making. I know it is crazy weather, very crazy weather. Okay. All right, so we have some cute little flowers. Look at those. I think that's just changed them up a little bit, you know, like um, to add a bit of interest with my flowers. Okay, let's get that out of the way. And that out of the way. Now, let's see where I'm going with this card. That, we have that. We have this gorgeous piece here. I feel like I need to back that with... Um, some type of color and I have some gorgeous flowers here that we can pop around everywhere okay so I want to add a little bit of color a snippet of color in here what color should we put behind it I'm thinking we may go flirty flamingo will we go flirty flamingo yeah let's do that okay so I'll bring in my paper trimmer. So because that piece has been done at five and a half by three and three quarters, I'm gonna go to um, five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Okay, so the reason I'm doing that is so that, um, and there is nothing wrong with my paper trimmer. It has been so wet here in um, our hometown that my cardstock has moisture in it. When my cardstock's got moisture in it, it doesn't cut smoothly. So there is nothing wrong with your paper trimmer. If you get those furry edges, it's because there is moisture in your cardstock. Okay, so I'm going to do that in behind. So that's gonna give me a slither of color. So. I'm going to use my double-sided tape on the back of this embossed um, layer, mainly because it's embossed, it's in foil, and I want it to stick to my card base really well. And you can see that the foil wants to curl up. Um, even when it hasn't been embossed foil, when you get your foil out and you cut your layers, it tends to want to curl up. So I like to use double-sided tape to make sure that it's going to adhere onto my layer really, really nicely, and it's gonna stay nice and flat. Okay, so I've got quite a lot of double-sided tape on the back there, so I'm just gonna pull those backings off.
Now this is the only time I use double sided tape to glue my layers together. And the reason being, I always use my liquid Tombow because it gives you that wiggle room. With double sided tape, you get one go at it. So you have to line it up really, really nicely and hope that you get that down exactly where you want it to be, which I'm up standing above it and that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna go with that. And it's probably, no, it's not too bad. Okay, so there we have that gorgeous layer. Look at that. Ready to go onto the front of the card. Stunning, if I do say so myself. Okay, I'm gonna do a bit of flirty flamingo to go back in behind that one there. So um, I've got that one done at one and, one and a half. So I'm gonna do this one at one and three quarters. Like that. And that's gonna give me a great layer to go on to there. Yes, all good. And I'm also going to run my emery board down along those as well. Now, as I said, it is nothing to do with our new paper trimmer. It is to do with the moisture in the cardstock. So don't think that your blade is blunt. Um, if you knew how much rain that we've had here, you would understand uh, my cardstock feels soft. I need to get my, um, okay, so that's looking quite nice there like that. All right. So that's looking good. And then I've got all these cute little flowers. So I'm actually going to, I'm going to glue this down with my Tombow. You love the idea of embossing the flowers. Yep. I don't know whether you just heard my husband sneeze in the background there. He just let out a, an almighty loud sneeze. Okay, so I'm gonna glue that down onto that flirty flamingo layer. Okay. And I'm gonna do a prize draw now. So let me see what I can give away. Let me see what I have up here in my cupboard that I can give away to somebody. What have I got? Okay. Um. Okay, so I'm going to pick a lucky winner for the meerkats. And are you ready for it? Drum roll, prize patrol. Okay, so the lucky winner for the meerkats is Curly Top, who is Liz from Kalgoorlie. So Liz, I hope you're still on here. I hope you haven't left. Now, Liz, you need to email me at um, bejeweled. 01 at gmail.com. I'm just going to write it down on a piece of paper so you can see. Oh, if I had a piece of paper here, I'm going to use a scrap piece. No, where's my notepad? There it is there. Okay, just going to write it down. So that was to um, Curly Top, Liz from Kalgoorlie. So Liz, are you still on? You are the lucky winner. And you need to email me at B E J E W E double L E D zero one at gmail dot com. Okay, so if you're still on Liz, um, you are the lucky winner of the gang's all Mia. And keep with me, people. If you stay with me, I may do another draw just at the very end, okay? So I'll pop that aside. And hopefully Liz will email me with her address. Okay. Let's put Liz's name on it. 
um, curly top Liz. Oh, you are still on here, Liz. Well done. Okay, so Liz, please make sure you email me with your address so I can pop that in the post for you. Okay, let's get back into this card. Now I'm going to glue this one straight down onto my card. So congratulations, Liz. The Meerkat stamp set is so super cute. And I don't know whether you've seen, but some people have been doing some silhouette ones with the meerkats, which looks absolutely wonderful. Okay, so we have that there on our card base. I'm also going to glue that one directly down, but I'm going to use some double-sided tape on that one because it's gonna go on to that embossed layer. Oh, wow, it's bucketing down here now, it's pouring. So what an awesome way to spend my morning. Crafting away in the pouring rain. It's lovely to be inside. It's great crafting weather. I, I don't know about you. Who else that's out there? Who else loves crafting when it's like pouring rain outside? Who loves to get in their craft room and just get um, totally engrossed in their crafting? <laughs> Pam saying me. Yeah, I love it. Good sleeping weather? Yes, Janet. Yes, I agree. And you poor thing, you're still awake, you're still with me, and you've been doing night shift. Okay, so we've got that. Now I'm going to, with these cute little flowers, we're going to pop them onto some dimensionals. I think I'm just gonna do little baby dimensionals on the back of those. Okay, so we'll turn them over. And pop some dimensionals on those. One there. Oop. One there. And I'm just going to sit these on my card and see where I want to arrange them all. I may not use them all, but we'll see. Okay. You can hear the rain in the background, Catherine. I know, it's absolutely bucketing down, pouring. Okay, so I'm just going to, and I wanna squish these up a little bit, okay? So I'm just going to, just in my hand, just squish them up so that they start to poke up a little bit. Bear with me, I've just heard one of my children come home, they'll probably come storming in the door and say something and have no idea that I'm live. Okay, so I'm just going to arrange these all around on my card. And I don't know whether it's actually a storm now, it's just heavy rain, like the thunder's gone. It was thundering quite loudly before. So just keep curling those up. that's looking quite good I think that's enough what do you think cute you love the same sound of the rain coming down yeah <laughs> okay so let's take those off and I'm just going to pop those on now to my card And 
And what's going to make these even prettier, I want to pop a little bit of bling on the inside of them. Oh, that one was already up. Just popping those, um, like squashing them up in your hands, it just um, gives them a little bit more dimension and makes them look more lifelike um, rather than like really flat. Like sometimes when they're really flat, they can, um, they can get a little bit strange. So, okay. that and the last one and then I'm going to stamp a sentiment now I had um, a sentiment out ready to go okay just wondering whether I'm just going to I may have to move this flower for this one to fit on but i'm just going to emboss this gorgeous stamp set i want to emboss some of the flowers because i actually want some of the flowers to go on the sentiment so i'm going to grab that and pop it onto a block and i really only want the actual um flowers i want to emboss those so that I can actually pop this on the card in behind. So I'm gonna use my embossing buddy. <laughs> um, Gail saying her 83 year old sister loves the bling that she puts on her cards. You have to have bling on cards, I'm afraid to say. A card is not a card without bling. Okay, that's not my good one. Where's my good one? Is that my good one? Nope. Is that my good one? Just trying to find my Versamark here. Nope, that was the good one, the first one I had. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to ink up this stamp, and I'm going to stamp it a few times on here. So I'm really only going to ink up the flower section. And stamp it there. And another one. And stamp it there. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in my copper embossing. I'm just going to bring in that scrap bit of paper that I had again, which is there, to catch all my embossing powder. So I'm just going to do the copper embossing. Now the reason I use the embossing buddy is to make sure that um, I don't get any of my embossing powder stuck to um, oily fingerprints or anything that might be on the card. So you always use your embossing um, buddy and it gets rid of the static off your card as well. Okay, so we've got that and I'm just going to heat that with my heat tool and I heat from underneath the reason that I do that is so that I can um, not blow all that embossing powder around anywhere and there you go you can see it's starting to change now the trick trick to embossing is you see it bubble up and then it goes smooth when it goes smooth you move on okay so when it's smooth it's done if you go longer than, um, if you heat it too long, you can actually burn your embossing. So you can see it goes a little bit bubbly and then it goes really nice and smooth. Oh, and that flower didn't quite get the right amount, but that's okay. All right. So we have our cute flowers embossed. And you're going to scream at me here because I'm actually going to fussy cut. Yep, you heard it. I'm going to fussy cut around these gorgeous flowers. Because I want them to sit in behind my sentiment. And 
and the trick to fussy cutting is moving your cardstock, not your scissors. Okay, so you keep your scissor blades moving, but you actually move your cardstock. Sorry, I was probably out of the camera angle then. Okay, so I've got that one done. And we'll come in and do this one. Oh, no worries, Gerald. Is it Geraldine? Is that how I say your name? Thank you. <laughs> Do you know what? I just I, I just love sharing my crafting. I'm happy to sit here and chat away and answer any questions that anyone may have. If I see the comments, so I do apologize if I've missed anyone's comments and I haven't answered, I will go back through and have a look. But I don't think I can actually answer back um, to the live comments. Cindy says she doesn't have the patience for fussy cutting. Each to their own. Okay, so I'm actually going to just grab my flirty flamingo now and I'm just going to grab a sponge dauber. Um, there's a flirty flamingo one. And I'm just going to sponge a little bit on that, those flowers. that and then I'm going to grab um, I think pear pizzazz might be nice although no I think I'm just gonna leave them like that I don't think I'm gonna worry I'm gonna leave the, the leaves copper and then I need to stamp a sentiment so my sentiment I can do out of that stamp set Sending hugs. What do we got here? Happiness looks gorgeous on you. Wishing you the best. That sounds good. I'm going to do wishing you the best. And I think I'm going to do that in copper as well. I wonder whether that's going to be big enough for my... Will it be big enough? Yes, easily. Okay, so I'm going to emboss this one as well. So I'm going to use my embossing buddy. I'm going to use my Versamark and ink that up. And stamp that down. Like that. We'll bring in that scrap piece of paper again and our copper embossing powder. Empty that back in. Okay, so I'm just going to emboss that. Okay, um, Cynthia says, what stamp set am I using? Tags and Bloom. It's a new, it's a second release celebration item. So as demonstrators, we can purchase it right now. Um, as a customer, you have to wait until next month, March, to be able to earn it for free. So they will be available in March. You never know what you need until you watch me, Karen, really. I'm sorry, what can I say? I'm sorry, I enable people, I'm sorry. But you know what, all I can say is, I, I'm actually doing my job. That's all I can say, I'm doing my job well. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that into my punch, 
like that. And then I'm hopefully going to I'm going to go over that. Yeah. Going to go over it so it actually sits in behind, but I'm going to pop that up so that it sits in behind at a distance. So I'm going to pop some dimensionals on there. Thank you, Karen. There. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that up onto that. Whoops. So, so that it covers that, but the flowers are popping in behind. And I'm just going to cut that off. I don't like that bit there. Just going to cut that in there and off. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so that. And then I'm going to pop this one coming in down underneath here. I'm going to have to take that flower off. I thought I was going to. Yes. That's looking good. Okay. So I'm going to pop that one up as well. So I'll just pop a few dimensionals onto there. And pop that one into there like that okay just gonna do a bit of surgery here because I want that I want to be able to pop some dimensionals into there so that it all stays nice and level so I'm just going to use that and pop that in there and then the rest I'm just going to pop some um, oh, some doubles no I'm just gonna pop that glue on I'm sure my dimensional will stick on there enough to hold it okay so then we're going to pop that onto the front like that. In under there, in under there, and under there. Come on, flower, under there. There. I should have put this on before I put my flowers on. Oh, there. Okay, but that's looking quite cute. Look at that. Okay, and then I'm thinking we need a little bit of bling in the in middle of our flowers. So I'm just going to grab that and pop one in there, one in there, one in there. Is this an avid card or what? Is this for the avid crafter, the person that just absolutely wants to have everything? What do you think? And I think I'm going to pop a few on here. That, that, and that. My nails match the card nicely. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so now I need to probably do an insert for this card. Which, mm, what can we do? I actually feel like I just want to pop some of those flowers down in there. So I think I'm just going to grab my floaty flamingo. And I'll grab my scrap piece of paper. I feel like I just want to stamp some of those flowers. And then there's some little flowers in here, which 
I may be able to stamp around. No, it's not on that one, it's on this one. Nope. Yep, yeah, it's on this one. Okay, you're gonna go mad on me again, but I'm gonna use, if I can find where I put it, the Copper Delicata ink here. Just to create some um, a bit of colour difference. I know we can't get it anymore, but surely, surely, oh, ink it up a bit better. Yeah. at that. Cute. Okay, so just before I put that in there, I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to do another prize patrol. Who wants another prize patrol? Oh, hey, Rose, how are you going? Thanks for joining. Amazon has Delicata ink. <laughs> well done, Beth. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do another prize patrol. And this one is going to be for a pack of these gorgeous little trinkets. Tropical Oasis trinkets. Okay, so for a pack of those, and a pack of those is going to go to Fran Dade from Western Australia. So Fran, I hope you're still on here. I'm gonna pop that onto a piece of paper. So it goes to, I'll do it in a pen. So Fran Dade is the lucky winner of the Tropical Oasis. So I'm just gonna write Fran Dade. So if you're still on here, Fran, please um, email me at bejeweled. 01 at gmail.com and um, send me your address, Fran, so that you can grab your Tropical Oasis trinket. So congratulations, Fran, for um, being here and spending the morning with me while I've crafted. So you're the winner of the Tropical Oasis trinkets. I would love for you to have them and play with them and have a great time with them. So now I'm just going to add that to the inside of my card. Like so. Okay. So there we have a really, really super cute, pretty avid card, I'm thinking. Um, I'll just bring in all the cards that we've made this morning. So we've made that one there. We've made the gorgeous congratulations card, which I think is gorgeous. Um, and we've made the super cute card using the brand new vellum that we have that's coming in our, um, in our second release items. And I'm going to pick a winner. Um, so who would like me to send a card and this is for anyone that is outside of Australia So I want to send this card overseas. So I want to pick a person Overseas so type in the comments and hit the like button and let me know if you would love for me to send you this gorgeous card Cindy saying me Cindy Hershey. It is yours. Where do you live Cindy? You need to email me once again. So I'm just going to grab my notepad again so Cindy, what you need to do is email me with your um, postal address and <laughs> Cindy beat you all, Cindy's the winner. So congratulations Cindy. So this is for Cindy Hershey. S-H. E Y and you need to email me at bejeweled B E J E W E W -E L E D zero one at gmail dot com and send me your address and I would be happy to pop that in the post for you. 
Pamela saying I beat Cindy, but that's okay. I'm sorry, Pamela, but um, Cindy was the first one that I seen. So um, thank you anyway. Oh, you did too. Pamela, I will send you one as well. So Pamela, um, I will send you a card so you can email me your address, Pamela, and I would be happy to pop you one in the, car in the post as well. So Pamela, I can't have you missing out, Pamela. <laughs> I think you have sent me a card before, Pam, haven't you? Um, card. Okay. So I'm just going to flip you back around and have a little bit of a chat with you. Just about a few things that are going on. So thank you for spending a little bit out of your day with me today for my live crafting. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I've inspired you to get into your craft room. It is the perfect weather right here at the moment to get in and craft. So um, if you're in a rainy area or a snowy cold area, if it was me and it was snowing outside, I would love to um, be inside crafting. So once again, last opportunity to get into our fundraiser that Rose Ward and myself are doing. So Stampers Delight, Dot com and myself. If you want to get into that private Facebook group, we've got over 20 presenters. We're going to have 48 hours of live crafting. The profits to um, this fundraiser event are all going to the Australian Rural Fire Services. Um, so I would love to have you um, help with the fundraising. If you go to my Facebook page, you will find it. If you go to my website, stampingwithdonnag.com, on the home page, you will find the um, all the information about it and you will find the PayPal add to cart link. If you actually, it's all set up, ready to go for $30 Australian to be a part of the group. Once you're in the group, you will be a part of the group forever. We are not gonna close that group. It's a private group, so only the people that have um, donated will be a part of that group. My hair is poking up everywhere this morning. Um, only people that have been um, have donated will be a part of the group other than the presenters. The presenters are from all over the world, so it's going to be an awesome, epic event. Um, and we're only taking donations up until my Sunday night, which is Saturday here now. So um, by Sunday at 12 at midnight, I will be taking it down and it won't be there anymore. So if you wanted to be a part of it, please feel free to do that. Um, the other thing is it's celebration time. If you wanted to, if you were thinking about joining Stampin' Up! It's an awesome special. You get $235 worth of product for $169. You actually get um, a little baby mini trimmer and some paper pack and a stamp set of your choice. So it's a really awesome deal. If you wanted to take me up on that deal, I would love to have you as part of my Wild Heart Crafters. You have to live in Australia to join my team. So I'm sorry. If you're outside of Australia, I can send you to some other demo friends that I have um, in your country. Um, but I would love to have you as part of my Wild Heart Crafters. Or if you just want to shop and be a customer, for every $90 you spend, you get a free item out of our celebration catalogue. So it's an awesome time to either shop or join or be a demonstrator. So um, feel free to call me on 0421. 725015 if you were interested in placing an order if you're interested in joining i'd be happy to do it over the phone you don't have to worry about computers i will do it all for you um so if you're interested in that please give me a call on 0421725015 now if you're watching this back later on or if it's the first time you've watched please feel free to hit the subscribe button make sure you click that little bell icon down beside the subscribe button so that you get um, notified every time I do a video. So um, thank you very much. And thank you to everybody that has already donated to the fundraiser. Um, I'm overwhelmed by the response. And it is awesome to see that so many people actually get together and help in a time of need, which is wonderful. And that's what Stamping Up is all about. Um, and it is people from all over the world. So it's going to be wonderful. We've even got Sarah, the CEO of Stamping Up, is even going to jump on and have a bit of a chat with you about um, what it's like um, getting together in time of need and what Stamping Up does um, to bring people together, which is fantastic. So um, if you haven't gone on and donated and you haven't been a part of it, please feel free to jump on over to Stamping with Donna g.com um, and uh, register by paying the $30 and I will then email you the link to the group and add you to the group on Facebook. So thank you everyone and until next time, have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.